Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video we're gonna learn about PHP if statement and ternary operator. Okay, so this is a basic syntax of an if statement. We have an if keyword followed by the conditional expression, and if that expression evaluates to true, then the following code will be executed inside these curly brackets here. Then we have an else if, and this is a second conditional expression, and if that expression evaluates to true, then the following code inside those curly brackets will be executed. In this case, if age is equal to 21, it's gonna echo out or print out you're 21 years old. In the first case, it's gonna print out you're over 21, of course. And finally, if none of these conditions evaluate to true, so if both of these conditions are false, then the else case will be executed and it's gonna print out you're not 21 yet. Okay, so that's if statement syntax, that's pretty much all you need to know. Now let's, let me give you a practical example because I wanna show you something else. Okay, so let's define a variable and assign an integer to it. Okay, so the basic, the most fundamental uh, syntax for the if statement is as follows. Would I have to uh, create any kind of uh, else if or else cases we can just create a simple if statement all by itself, just like that, and that's it. So if if the answer is 42, then it's gonna print out, the ultimate answer is 42. So if I go to, to the output, that's what it's doing. It's printing out, the ultimate answer is 22, and of course, if the answer is something else, it's not gonna print out anything. And in this case, the program is gonna continue executing as if nothing happened. So that's a if statement, uh, if you wanted to use it all by itself. Now, of course, if you wanted to introduce a new condition, in case uh, the condition is false, then you would use else. And in this case, you can print out another message. And that's uh, the text that will be printed out if the condition is false and then the, the uh, program is going to continue executing. Okay, so else if uh, is uh, another statement that we can add for evaluating yet another condition. So we can say day is your lucky day. Okay, so first of all, it's going to look, let's set our variable to 13. And uh, so it's gonna go and test if answer is equal to 42. If that's false, it's gonna jump to the next uh, else if statement. And in that case, if the condition is equal 13, that's the code is gonna execute. And if I refresh the page, today is your lucky day, that's the text that's been printed out. And uh, if none of these are true, then of course it's gonna do the same thing and jump back to the else statement and execute that. Okay, so that's if, else if, and else cases all combined together. Now, we can also have a nested if statement, and in fact, you can have as many if statements within other if statements, basically nested infinitely, but let me just show you uh, what I mean here. So if I set another variable, if I called another variable truth and set it to one, I can do something like, okay, let's... Uh, create another if statement inside of this first if statement. So you can say if truth, then echo, you speak the truth. And whenever we use uh, if statement conditional expression in this manner, the if statement is going to assume uh, that this variable is either evaluating to true or false. So it's gonna assume the variable is a boolean. In this case, truth is equal to one, so the expression is true, so that's the text that's gonna be printed out. Okay, else echo, that is a lie. In case, uh, in case our expression is false, it's gonna print out that is a lie. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, nothing happens because our answer is not 42. Okay, now it's 42. The ultimate answer is 42. You speak the truth. So let's insert a BR tag here for make it look better. 
Okay, so is the answer 42? Yes, it is. Is, uh, is truth equal to one? Yes, it is. Uh, and it's printing out, you speak the truth. So that's, that's uh, the text that we get. And of course, we can also go ahead and paste that in here. And he'll do the same thing in case our answer is 13. And uh, let's actually set the truth to zero now. And so today's your lucky day. That is a lie. <laughs> and in fact, number 13 is a lie. It's not really a lucky number. Okay, so that's an if uh, nested if statement for you. And finally, let me actually show you uh, how to create a uh, alternative if statement syntax. So if you had a PHP file, I'm gonna create a new file real quick here. I'm actually gonna create a, yeah, I'm gonna create a new PHP file. Um, what am I doing here? Okay, just call it new or PHP in HTML. So if I had some HTML here, I'm just gonna copy and paste this code here. Uh, so if I had HTML, this uh, this alternative if syntax is uh, basically you, what you do is re remove those uh, curly brackets and replace them with a column and else uh, and <laughs> I mean and if for the closing curly bracket and a column for the opening curly bracket. So. You replace those and in place of uh, these uh, curly brackets, you also insert the columns. So it's just an easier and cleaner way to write uh, PHP if you wanted to insert the code inside of HTML. Okay, so that is it for the if statement. Now let me quickly cover the ternary operator. I'm gonna delete all this code heel, uh, here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the easiest and the best, I think, way to memorize a ternary operator is this. Is this true? Yes or no? So, if this expression is true, we follow that by the question mark, the yes is gonna be executed. Otherwise, no is gonna be executed. So, if I define a variable, are you okay equals true, and then I can say message equals are you okay question mark yeah I'm good else leave me alone okay so you can see how this is sort of like speaking English uh, PHP is pretty close to uh, English language so we have are you okay variable which is set to true and uh, in case it's true, it's gonna print out, yeah, I'm good. Otherwise, the expression on the right side of the column is gonna be executed, which is leave me alone. So yes, if, uh, if, the, if it's true or no, just like uh, in the syntax that I showed here. Okay, so let's test it out. Echo message. Yeah, I'm good. So is our expression true? Yes, it is. Yeah, I'm good. It's printed out. So let's set it to false. And now it's printed out. Leave me alone. So this is just a quick way to uh, have a, it's sort of like a if and else statement. And uh, that's a short way and uh, it's a short way to write it. And uh, it can be really handy. So that's it for this video, you guys. Uh, that was if statement as well as a ternary operator. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.